hi this way we are going to see some of uh, tml trigger uh, in that we are going to see instead of delete trigger for that first i am having i am creating a view in which i am going to select some data like employed employed name employee salary department name from employee details and then i am drawing it to the department uh, in department and then I'm and retrieving the data for that I'm just creating I've written already and then so I'm just selecting and creating that view see if I try if I select this see I have this data if I try to delete some row like employee 3 employee ID with 3 here in this for this view particular view will get an error see let me see see because it is not updatable because it is modification affects multiple base data why because this view contains two main tables like employee details table and department table where if you try to re delete that particular row in employee in this view will get an will get an error for that in for the for like this cases we are going to create a instead of delete trigger in trigger and then we will use to delete that row for that i'm going to create a trigger by name tr underscore view employee details instead of delete on on which we are going to create is view mbw employee details and for, for what type of trigger it is it is for instead of delete instead of delete means for the delete statement this trigger is going to execute for that and again begin and end statement in between this we am go i'm going to have like delete statement employee details delete employee details where we are going to delete that particular id where employee details and deleted and deleted table is nothing but it is a temporary table where it's going to save this delete statement from the row which the row which we are going to delete and that from that row we are we are retrieving the employee id and then we are deleting that one the see let me create this see the trigger has been created and then now if i try to delete this See the statement has been deleted and if I select this data from that view particular view see the employee id with 3 has been deleted this is how instead of trigger instead of delete trigger execute instead of this delete statement is going to trigger this particular instead of delete trigger that what we have created that it will be executed for that particular statement this is uh, that's it for instead of delete trigger if you want to see where this trigger has been said we have to go to per that particular um, and database at the third particular view and here if i press refresh see i am going to see here and here if you will go and see the trigger see here we can see the trigger view employee instead of delete trigger that is where the triggers are stored for that particular view okay this is for today thank you thank you for listening